Welcome, everybody. Welcome to The Tonight Show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching at home. We had a great show. Well, guys, today in England, the world's biggest leaders got together for the start of the G7 Summit. Yep, it's a meeting of leaders from uh, the U.S., U.K., Canada, France, Germany, Italy, and Japan. It's basically Epcot without the day drinking. <laughs> this is the first in-person G7 in nearly two years, and like everyone else at an in-person meeting, they're all thinking, this could have been a Zoom. It could have been a Zoom. Um, in addition to the G7 members, India, Australia, and South Korea were invited as guest countries. And if they do well, they get a spot on the G7 spin-off series, G7 Summit Island. <laughs> and like they do every year, all the G7 leaders got together for a family photo. Uh, take a look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a choose-your-player part of a law firm video game. They had fun on the beach until Biden asked everyone to recreate the volleyball scene from Top Gun. They're like, well, I, don't, I don't get this. I read that during the summit, all G7 leaders are staying at this castle. Ooh. Apparently, the world economy is in such bad shape, they all had to share an Airbnb. It's very interesting. <laughs> you have seven world leaders all living in the same house while Vladimir Putin watches from home like it's an episode of Big Brother. <laughs> this is my favorite show. Get this, ahead of Biden's meeting next week with Putin, former President Trump decided to put out a statement. And it said, good luck to Biden in dealing with President Putin. Don't fall asleep during the meeting. And please give him my warmest regards. Yeah. Trump's still banned on Facebook and Twitter, so he issued that statement by yelling it at a Wendy's drive-thru. <laughs> That's right, Trump had to go through Biden, because you know Putin didn't give him his real phone number. He's like, oh, sure, Donald, yes, it's, a uh, write this down, 1-800-588-2300. Uh, <laughs> Empire today. <laughs> well, this is huge. The National Geographic Society has just announced a new fifth ocean. Whoa. It's the body of water surrounding Antarctica, and it's called the Southern Ocean. So now there's the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic, and Southern. Such big news inspired me to write a tiny song about it. <laughs> Just a couple seconds of the show I'm hosting to give a shout out to the brand new ocean. Congratulations on your promotion. The penguins and the fishes got a brand new ocean. Your ocean mom and dad filled with proud emotion. The big blue baby is a brand new ocean. I wouldn't say the car but didn't know the postage. Or the address for the brand new ocean. Watching all your ways, kind of like hypnosis. Gonna need a Dramamine on the brand new ocean. Protecting you from plastic is my new devotion. Gonna use a metal straw in the brand new ocean. Even though it's cold, put on your suntan lotion before you swim in the brand new ocean. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Hey, some entertainment news. Last night was the series finale of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Yeah, it, it's hard to say goodbye. Uh, watching people stand around their kitchen looking at their phones, it felt like watching our own family. <laughs> the show led to nine spin offs. Yep, Chris Jenner is basically the Vin Diesel of reality TV. Well, listen to this. I just saw that Netflix just launched an online store that sells show-branded merchandise. But this is annoying. If an item sits in your cart for too long, a message pops up that says, are you still shopping? Really? <laughs> just a thought, though. If you're watching Netflix and wearing it, it might be time to get out of the house. <laughs> and finally, a lobster diver in Cape Cod is okay after being swallowed and then spit out by a humpback whale. Yeah, the good news is he's okay. The bad news is he's being sued for copyright infringement by the Bible. <laughs> we have a great show. Give it up for the roots. We're going to the brand new ocean. Don't believe the sexy boy, yeah. We're going to the brand new ocean. Don't believe the sexy boy, yeah. We're going to the brand new ocean. Thank you very much, everybody. Be sure to tune in all next week. We have some great shows coming up. Ethan Hawke will be here. Oh. Salma Hayek, Helen Mirren, and Dr. Anthony Fauci will all be joining us. Plus, we have music in studio from Coldplay. Oh! Coldplay! Ah.
Uh, but first, what a show we have for you tonight. She stars in WandaVision. Man, she crushed it. Uh, it's on Disney Plus. Katherine Hahn is oh. here. She helped us out with our, our Fallon vision, too. We're going to talk about WandaVision. Oh, yeah. When we did our Fallon vision, she was awesome. And joining us in studio, he's the director of the new film, In the Heights. <laughs> Go see this. I, I can't wait. I can't wait for you all to see it. It is so, I mean, I had nothing to do with it. I just loved it so much. John M. Chu is oh. here. Great director. Go to a theater. It's safe. They'll figure it out. Go, you have to go see this movie. It is unbelievable. It's one of the most uh, uh, enjoyable things I've seen ever. It's fantastically done. You just saw a quest? Last night, yeah. Well, you got the... I went to the... Uh, Tribeca the... thing? No, no, the, uh, the In the Heights... Oh, the Washington Heights premiere. Yes, the Washington Heights premiere. Yeah. They premiered it in Washington. You were you were at that one. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's that's major. double the excitement for me. It was major. What, was it emotional? What was it? The audience danced and clapped and cried and yeah. That was just fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's, that's, it's, it's such a good film. Well done. Uh, also, we got great music tonight. His new album, Hall of Fame, is out now, performing his number one song, rap star Polo G is here! Oh. Plus, we have an all new thank you notes later in the show. That's gonna be fun. Ba da ba da beep, ba da ba ba da ba ba da 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 it's like a Smuckers, man. It's that, that good of a jam. Fast. I wonder if John, if John M. Chu would uh, direct Brand New Ocean. Maybe. A musical about put discovering of a new ocean. Yeah. I should put him on the spot on the yeah. show. Yeah. Guests like yeah. that, right? Guests love that. People love to be put on the spot. They do? Yeah, they love it. They love Thank to feel for... uncomfortable. Thank and you. And then they go, I guess. And then yeah. you take it as a yes. People love it. Thank you. You're always giving me the best advice, and I, I'm looking out for you. Thanks, man. Uh, guys, before we go on, I got to take a moment to mention some of our sponsors for tonight's show. They always don't uh, sometimes fit in commercial breaks, and we want to make sure we get to all of them. So it's time for tonight's show sponsors. Here we go. Tonight's show sponsor. Tonight show sponsor. Our first sponsor, uh, Apple. You buy it because it's easier than not buying it. Vitamin water. Yeah, uh, it's good for you. Sure. <laughs> Marshalls. Sorry, a pack of wolves just ran through here. <laughs> <laughs> Lids. Buy a hat from the quarterback of your old high school. <laughs> Chipotle. We keep trying to fix whatever is wrong. <laughs> Dyson, it's our pleasure to make you second guess how much a vacuum should cost. <laughs> Auntie Anne's, want to ruin your flight? How's about you scarf down 30 pretzel nugs with nacho cheese sauce and a tub of pink lemonade? <laughs> Britta, yeah, your water's totally clean now. Long John Silvers, we can't believe we're still here either. Are we? Wow. And finally, Starbucks, don't talk to us till we've had our us. That's all for tonight's show sponsors. Hey.